10 hour shutdown, a big mess on I 25 in Pueblo. A semi carrying a wind tower crashed into the median. It closed both lanes of the interstate. It happened near the Central Avenue exit at about 9 30 this morning. Cardio News Channel 13's Michelle San Miguel joins us live along I 25, where traffic is moving along again tonight. Michelle. That's right, I-25 is back open, but you can still see where the driver hit the median. It's right here where these barricades are. If you were out here earlier today, you saw how bad this crash looked, but fortunately, no one was injured. Well, uh, that's this wind tower fell off of a truck and it's blocking both lanes of traffic. A driver hauling a portion of a Vestas wind tower on the northbound lanes crashes into a median and into the southbound lanes. Unfortunate, but very fortunate nobody got hurt in this one. There was yeah. nobody coming southbound when that thing went through the wall northbound, and, and that's really a, a, an odd thing to happen. Those who heard and saw the crash could not believe it. Well, our building's old, so it did shake the whole building. One of my workers was under a car and felt the, like I said, it was like an explosion, so. We just seen the smoke and ran out here. Traffic was detoured to the on and off ramps at Central Avenue as crews worked to remove the wind tower. This is a relatively small city. And so when things like this happen, everybody hears about it. Dozens of people gathered around I-25 to watch as two cranes lifted the wind tower onto a trailer. So oh my God, I couldn't believe it. <laughs> it's very difficult. It's not too often that you have a Something that weighs 75 tons, it, it takes two large cranes to lift it. it, takes a lot of labor. And back here live along I-25, police tell me they believe it was a mechanical failure that caused the trailer to break loose. They do not believe the driver was speeding, and I'm told that it was not a Vestas employee, but a third-party contractor who was driving the truck. Reporting live in Pueblo, Michelle San Miguel, KRDO News Channel 13. Thanks, Michelle. Now